We lost Biscuit for, I don't know, we weren't sure where she was for like 10, 15 minutes. She came back with blood on her. I'm gonna go figure out what that was. Uh, maybe. Is it back here? Oh, man. Yeah, Biscuit got a chicken. Man, this stinks. We're gonna need to figure out a way to break Biscuit of eating these chickens. This one here is Bradley. She's never killed a chicken. This is Biscuit, the chicken killer. Probably scaring this poor chicken to death. She's pretty though, isn't she? Yeah. So what I'm going to attempt to do is leave her in here with chickens for a while. Let her get comfortable with them, but tie her up so she can't catch them and eat them. I don't know, I'm kind of at a loss here. Come on, Biscuit. And the thing that's so hard about this is that Biscuit is such a good, smart dog. It's just, they feel like, it's just like inner nature to do that. You Google blue healers and chickens, and the outlook is quite grim. So it's almost like we're asking Biscuit, no Biscuit, hey, no, no, to do something that's completely like outside her nature. Like she is such a smart dog that I feel like we could get there with a lot of effort. It's like I go back and forth some days. I feel like I can give Biscuit the attention that she needs to get her to work on this farm. Other, that, other days I don't feel like I have that energy. Today's one of those days where I don't really feel like I have that energy. So I just want to paint a little picture for you. Marty's out of town, so it's me with the farm. And Biscuit decided to, yeah, she knows she's in trouble, get a chicken today and decided to kill it in front of the big window in our kitchen. So all of our kids saw it. It was very emotional. Two screaming children and me running to go get the dog and the other child proceeding to follow me uh, barefoot in the snow. So um, I read that you can, or I saw a little video that you can get a chicken and have the chicken stand on the dog to try to teach the dog that the little dominance. I know they're supposed to be dominant over the chickens, but she needs to stop eating our chickens. So I'm gonna try it. I don't know, I doubt it's gonna work. But you stay. Well, happened again. I think Biscuit's now killed like five, maybe six chickens. So I think this is, I think this is gonna be it. Kate is done. She's frustrated. And we really even can't let Biscuit out here without having her tied up because she's got the taste for chicken now. I'm afraid she's not gonna fit in with how we're running this farm. So Kate just 
going online now. She's gonna post on Facebook to see if anybody wants to have Biscuit, which is really sad. I'm sure we're gonna get some haters from this, but I think it's just a decision that we're gonna have to make for what's best for our farm here. And when we got her, we were like, we're not gonna keep her if, you know, we have to be okay with letting go of animals that don't work on this farm. And the time has come for Biscuit. We are getting a lot of comments. I solved that by giving my chickens a big pen. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Put a shock collar on her. Yeah, we tried that. Oh, this woman wants her. She looks like she knows what she's doing. They have to have a job. Yes, they definitely do. Preferably not killing chickens. Um, what? You can break her of killing chickens. One, tie a dead chicken to her collar and leave it on for several hours. Two, spank her with the dead bird. Um, really? We can't really do that, can we? Never thought I was gonna be doing this. Last year I was heading into the city to try to build a software company. If you told me then that in the next year I would be living on a farm tying a dead chicken onto a dog, I'd have said you were crazy. But I'm willing to try anything to try to make this work. So this is our last attempt. If this doesn't work, then um, there's a lot of people that seem to be interested in Biscuit. Um, I'm sure we can find her a good home. Yeah, I really don't know how this is going to work. I feel like she's just going to go to town on this thing, like, and eat it. I have a feeling you're not really gonna like this, Biscuit. No, really don't know about this. Come here. Seems crazy. It's really heavy. No. So a biscuit's been chained up for, I don't know, a good few hours. I know the woman said several hours, but, but she looks so pathetic. It's like snowing on me. I'm actually really impressed. I think that, I thought she was gonna eat that chicken, you know, because it was just on her, but she has not touched it. And she looks like she learned a lesson. So I think it's time that we can take her off now. Like, I just can't take it anymore. This looks so sad. Hopefully this will break her of it. Are you ready to get off that biscuit? No more eating chickens. Okay. It's been four days now since we traumatized Biscuit here with the chicken experiment. And I'm happy to say she has not killed any chickens. In fact, even when we're around chickens and I tell her she's tempted still for sure, but if I say Biscuit, stop, um, then she listens. It's like a game changer. I really 
can't believe that we did that. <laughs> um, but I think we're gonna be able to keep Biscuit now, which is really awesome. We're all very, very excited.